I'll be glad to get back above ground. Yeah, it feels like a tomb down here. Mm hmm. Route. Oh dear. That can't be good. They fly to him from the complex several times a day. Only the ancestors know why. Well, the ancestors are dead, Elva. Of course. How else could they be ancestors? <sighs> Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Follow my lead. Aloy has no time for people being all like, Ooh, look! These are the... the people we worship. No, man, these are just people from the past, says Aloy. Eloy, I wonder. I from my stash when I need it. Like the Tanakh, all believe in the old world stuff, but are there like a few people out there who don't believe in that stuff? Eloy is pretty, I guess, atheist or agnostic, but everyone else in this world, I'm not so sure about. Life in the hot house. She sabotaged the project. You know how many lives could have been lost over an affair? We're working to see what data can be recovered. In the meantime. In the meantime, we spent weeks chasing results that have gone nowhere. Kochansky's project could have been the answer. Can we remember that Dr. Kochansky's libido played a big part in this? Huh, <laughs> not that big a part. Not helpful, Akrofi. Can we please concentrate on the plant propagation, not the human reproduction? Precisely. It is our job, our responsibility, to deliver these crops. Which is why I'm reassigning Dr. Samuelson to another team. She sabotaged the project and she's staying? And we will all have to make up the time we lost. How? We're already working nights and weekends. Which has cut down on the levels of infidelity. Not helpful like Rofi. Charles Darwin, a man who dares to waste one hour of time, has not discovered the value of life. And we hold so much life in our hands, so we'll do whatever we have to do to finish the work. <laughs> Aquino really likes speaking in quotes. Albert Einstein, Two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity. Dr. Samuelson has proved that. Surely we can agree she has to go? She's staying. That comes all the way from the top. <sighs> Pharaoh, of course. Not the kind of fellow to put ethics ahead of results. Enough, all of you. Your objections are noted. Please do not persist, unless you want me to take the messaging system offline. Infidelity. Dr. Samuelson and Kachansky. Well, it gets lonely here, even in the apocalypse, I guess. It wasn't that apocalyptic yet, though. Back then. <sighs> Machines. We can fight them. Or try to sneak past. <laughs> Your call. Yeah, we're on a roll with the sneaking. Let's try sneaking past. If we can. Azadam will make this go quick. Do you think it's worth trying to kill them? With stuff like Silent Strike? Oh, I can't- I can't kill it in one hit, right? Yeah, this is gonna start a thing. That's okay. Into battle. Close. You defeated the machines. Shh, shh, shh. We're still stealthing right now. Can I upgrade Silent Strike more? Otherwise, every time we try to do this, it's gonna be kind of dodgy. Hello? Alva? Could you not do that? Oh, 
You should repeat that! Good thing it's fast enough that we can do that. Probably can't do the same thing for the long legs. So we might want to prepare a brace shot in advance. Yeah, use some of these 200 rocks we have. Loud whenever long legs involved. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to come over here? Oh, we can override it. They haven't seen us. The ability to tame machines would be dangerous knowledge for the Quen. Dangerous. Interesting choice of words, seeing you're also a Quen. Okay, well. A vent. I think I can pull it open. Before the override being over would be nice. Can't get it from here. The entrance to the complex looks like it's locked off. Is it on the side? Do you mind if I ride you or something? Oh, I don't think this is gonna... Okay, let's go in and attack because we want to use some of these guys. Chill. Once is enough. Okay, the long leg. It's back to its former self. We're fine, we're fine. We'll be fine. Is that the last one? You wanna come over here? Come over here so I can deal with you. And we'll look around in peace. It's a fire blast rider. Okay, if you're not gonna come over, I'm not gonna care about you. So we've gotta be able to- Oh! Oh, I can't bring this down. There we go. Oh, we could have done this. I just didn't see it. Good. So can we talk more about what you just said earlier? Overriding machines would be dangerous knowledge for the, the Quen. Do you not agree with how your own people does things? You didn't seem to like the soldiers either. Maybe we can get through that hatch on the ground. It looks like the one we used at the first station. There's consoles up here too! But no way to get to them. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. But... Oh. Nothing here but a box. But... Of eyes. Locked. There has to be another way to reach those consoles. I don't think I can jump up there. I'll have to find another way. I think I can move these things. Oh. There we go. Huh. There's some space back there. Good. So we can move all of these then. Aha. This should help. Ah! A key. Key for what? That. There we go. Okay, we can come down now. That looks like some sort of conveyor rig. You 
think you can move it over to me? Yeah. If you can hop on top of it, I can get you to those consoles. Exactly. No, we want to get across. Good enough? I can't tell. Hold it there. Let me just... I jumped on top. Hold on. Is this really that light? You're just pulling it like it's a shopping cart in the grocery store. That's good. Jumping over. <sighs> Made it. I'm at the console. Wait. There's data here. A, a lot. <laughs> but it's blocked. Something's restricting access. If I can't get past it, my mission here is doomed. Alva, I'll help if I can, okay? But first we have to get out of here. Right. We need to open the hatch. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. There should be a power cell inside. Then you need to find a way into the generator room. Okay, I'm on it. I found the energy cell. Now find a way into the generator room. I'm making a pretty good team. No, the cell is actually just in the rack this time. Yes. The lone cell. Uh, the generator room. Like you're seeing a lot of things. Earlier you mentioned the console, but I have no idea. I, I didn't know where you were like talking the about. in this room. It has to be somewhere else. I gotta know where these things are first. Okay, so this is. I can't bring it with me yet. Now I can. Time to blow this up. Now I can get that energy cell here. Um, Aloy, would would you mind warning me next time you decide to um uh, blow up a wall? <laughs> I'll uh try. No guarantees. Okay, that brought power back to the doors. You can reach me now. On my way. Okay, fantastic. Ah, uh, here we go. The consoles were beyond the locked... It uh, was locked earlier. Okay. We need to operate both consoles simultaneously to open the hatch. I'll get to the other console. You stay here. There's one across. Ready when you are. Okay, you ready? On two. One... Two. Commencing Not three. Test scenario, 12C15. <sighs> okay, that's where we need to go. Magnetic field engaged. Initiating biomass conversion process. Oh no. What? No, 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 no. Oh I'm no! Shut this thing off. What is this? Biomass conversion. That's not feeding the people. That's how the world ended. Test complete. Adamantine reads structural integrity. Uncompromised. What did we just see? Oh. 
Alva. Let's meet below. I'm gonna share a file with you, okay? Test log, um, uh, I think it's Tuesday, the second. Oh, who cares? I'll say this for the end of the world. It's jam-packed with irony. We developed biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. And now we're racing against time to find something to give them indigestion. Well, it works. War machines won't be able to eat the wreaths. But can we deploy them in time? God, I hope so. I don't understand. Your ancestors? They were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? The time of ashes. But most of the data about that is lost or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. What? I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need to find something that helps, something to bring back. The overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Already you could see her bones. They will starve. How long ago did you leave? Alva. Alva. I get it. I do. It's hard to explain. But you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. But even if I believe you, my people won't. I need to bring something back. Okay. Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you something to bring home. I'm not sure I understand. But every secret makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Go on. I'll follow. We need to keep moving. Test Station Ivy can't be far off. Test Log Elm. Alva might be one of the few people- I think she might be the only one, actually. A person who... also feels the weight of the world on her. Yeah. I mean, not in the same magnitude, but a lot of people are also depending on her, and she's very, very desperate to find a solution. Up until now, we've mostly come across people who are like, Oh no, we don't have food. Oh well. Well, not oh well, but it never really felt like they were very, very desperate to find a solution. But she... she does. Somebody who we can understand very well. Quinn Diviner, Alva. Alva is a sensitive, inquisitive, and exceptionally smart subject of the Quen tribe. As a diviner, she's one of a select few to have been given a focus, albeit a flawed, obsolete version, in order to access the secrets of the ancient world. She has devoted her life to studying this legacy, so that the Quen people may benefit from the technical knowledge left behind by their ancestors, the Old Ones. When the degradation of the biosphere triggered famine in the Quen homeland, the diviners scoured their records to find a solution. This search led the tribe to construct a great flotilla of ships, ships multiple, to cross the Pacific Ocean to San Francisco, thought to be a nexus of prominent ancestors. Alva joined this expedition, which encountered great hardships both at sea and at their destination. Despite finding several small troves of data, the expedition was on the brink of failure, unable to discover the secrets to help their people back home. But then Alva met Aloy, who offered a new spark of hope to her people. 
you, normally someone like that would be very interested in any sort of knowledge, right? But she was so against learning about the sins of their ancestors because it doesn't help. And we don't want to know about the flaws of the people we look up to. The gods and all that. We don't want to know. It's okay, Alva. I'll... I'll make it right. Oh, jeez. Another maze. But the road to truth is never a straight line. That's one way to go down. Wait, isn't this where we came from? Wait. This is where I came from, right? I'm pretty sh- Oh, well, hey. Actually, I'm not sure anymore. So the metal flowers, No, it's not. What the data referred to as adamantine wreaths, they were supposed to stop the destruction that caused the time of ashes? Looks like it. I guess something went wrong. Maybe they weren't deployed in time? So, I never asked. Uh, are you from around here? No, I'm not. I, um, spent most of my life in a place far to the east. Oh, well, we've both traveled a long way, then. Yeah, we're meeting at the halfway point. The wreaths, the metal flowers, do stay here, and they haven't been eaten because the machines can't eat it. That part is true. So I guess they were planning on using this to block off places, so that they just couldn't be harmed. But it didn't work. Why? Why didn't it work? Uh, this pipe... looks like it goes all the way to the surface. I think we're under the proving grounds. Maybe it connects the rig to the tower. Best not to linger here long, then. Wait, so there's nothing to do here? Okay. Um... I may be lost. I feel like every everything that we looked at is the same. We were just here, right? I believe so, yes, we were just here, and... Places... <laughs> this is it. Oh, uh, perfect! That's completely what I intended. Okay. Let's find a way to get into the proving ground. Proving ground. We gotta swim. You okay with that, Alva? I know you came on a boat and all that, but... Don't know how you feel about swimming. Then they lifted up their eyes as it grew lighter and beheld each other's aspects, saw and shrieked and died. Even of their mutual hideousness, they died. Unknowing who he was upon whose brow, famine had written fiend, the world was void. The populous and the powerful was a lump. Seasonless, herbless, treeless, manless, lifeless. A lump of death, a chaos of hard clay. The rivers, lakes and ocean all stood still, and nothing stirred within their silent depths. Ships sailorless lay rotting on the sea, and their masts fell down piecemeal, as they dropped. They slept on the abyss without a surge. The waves were dead, the tides were in their grave. The moon, their mistress, had expired before. The winds were withered in the stagnant air. And the clouds perished. Darkness had no need of aid from them. She was the universe. That's... depressing. A 
That complex should be test station Ivy. Well, let's hope it holds the answers we seek. Hmm. Everything immediately turned into ashes. Look at that. The trees, the leaves are gone. This looks like a ripe location for some kind of a battle. It's so... still. Yeah. Yeah. Keep your guard up. Especially with the fire bellowbacks. Those are a dead giveaway that something bad's gonna happen very shortly. The Dreadwing! Would have been cool to see the Dreadwing for the first time here, but the introduction we got was pretty good too. Upside down, sleeping under a bridge. Whoa! We have to find oh. one of those machines. It can turn invisible. We're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station. We do you with me? Yes. Fire. Ammunition. I'm sorry. Not fast travel. I'm trying to call my mount. Oh, mounts can't come in here. Makes sense. Ooh, you're very, like, acidy. There we go. Your fangs? Oh, the acid. Maybe let's not be like right in front of it. Oh, my dear God. Oh, was amazing. Terrifying, but amazing. Well, you helped. Metal flower. We should be able to get into testation ivy now. Didn't get the fang. It's carrying one of the metal flowers. Is that how they've been distributed? Airdrops from these machines? Oh. The birds flying creatures carrying seeds. That's a thing. We shouldn't linger here. There might be more machines. Agreed. That Dreadwing felt easier than the previous one. There has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. I trust your focus will see what mine cannot. I can give you a better one. Oh, that's interesting. Find something? The fourth test station. Willow. It looks like it's underwater. Huh. That might be worth a look sometime. Underwater. Feeding the world. Tala Aquino, personal log, September 15, 2047. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Arthur C. Clarke. But you're supposed to understand the trick once it is done, when the curtain pulls back to reveal the mirrors. Yet, I still have no idea how we achieve this act of scientific conjuring. It's not just the speed with which the projects have come together, or the stability of the results, despite the complexity of the bioengineering. It isn't even the huge variety of crops that can now be made more heat, drought, and disease resistant. It's the simple fact that all these results are tangible. No announcements in scientific journals, no celebrating predictions born from simulations. Our research has become manifest in physical artifacts. Where a dream took root in an abandoned industrial site four years ago, now there stands row upon row of automated FAS farming units, each of which can conduct gene manipulation in the field. The actual field. These robots analyze soil composition, light intensity, temperature, wind speed, and a hundred other factors. Then, utilizing the gene sequences we created, they can select or construct a plant to produce the best yields for that location. Of course, all of the crops these units create are best harvested by other FAS machines. But when a population is starving, what government is going to quibble about being forced to use our robots to speed things up? So, Ted Farrow getting richer and richer? Should I be uncomfortable? Watching Ted Farrow's co swell? 
with money from the desperate and the starving? Maybe? But I know that it is his belief, money, that dry that has filled this world's empty stomachs. Desperation can only be experienced by the living, and we have given back their lives. Us. Our work. Pharaoh's resources. Science triumph. Together, we have changed the world. Hmm, so I guess FAS, this is after Elizabeth left, right? They still did work. Maybe for capitalistic reasons, but they still did it. I must have faith. I walk with the ancestors. We shall find what we seek. Your ancestors were the reason why this happened. But so much is still hidden from my focus. They were the reason why the world was destroyed to begin with, and they were the reason why it's being destroyed again. Isn't that awful? Are we gonna see the Zeniths here? This console's still operational. I was expecting those guys to show up at like every single subsystem, basically. But they haven't really shown up at all. What are they doing? Another log. We're done in every way. The reeves work, and Kabul came through on a way to destroy them. Mm -hmm. Downloading a coded key into the deployment shell triggers an enzyme that causes the reeds to eat themselves from within. But... It's too late. The latest projections from US Robot Command have swarm reproduction, outpacing our ability to drop the shells by 375%. Mm. Not even close. We deserve this. I deserve it for what I made here. This will be my last log before evacuation. So all their efforts were in vain. They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module into my spear. There's one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room. The holograms are talking about the actual end of the world. But the logs, the text logs that we've seen are talking about building farming machines for people lacking crops. So that part is um, like around the time of the clawback era, I think. We wanted to make a whole bunch of machines to solve the problem of not having enough crops. But those machines ended up being the ones that destroyed the world later on. Especially with the whole biomass conversion and all that too. Self-regenerating machines, basically. Self-powering. Hmm, underwater station? It looks so peaceful here. That must be the fourth testing station we saw on the map. Looks like it's been flooded for a while. In here. Oh, we'll have to climb up. Right behind you! Coming. We can use the line to get down. Ah, uh, right, easy. <laughs> I like Alva. Rare that we have somebody with us the whole way in a quest. Uh, made it. I still can't believe you took on all these soldiers by yourself. But we'd better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. They could be here any time. Right. Do you want to join us at the base? Kind of wonder. It doesn't really sound like you identify that much with, like, the soldiers and stuff. Like, you're immediately helping me so much. Probably because I 
You can tell that I'm、um, a learning person. I like knowledge. Vine cutter installed on the spear. This code module can be used to dissolve a metal flower's vines. That's why there's a workbench here. Randomly. Now what? Now we get to that data core. Great. But they're probably gonna be here. Any time now. Could you please wait until I get the data core first? Just wait a little bit, okay? Let's hope this new module works. Ah.、Uh. Flowers blooming. Let's see if the software works. Vines. They're falling apart. Door's clear now. Perfect. Let's go. The data core looks intact. Time to bring Demeter home. Is it that simple? This one seems pretty easy. We only saw one Dreadwing. Are you going to resist? Please don't. I don't mind it being easy. Demeter, it's time to go home. To Gaia. We see the light. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Demeter's subordinate function to original code. They don't resist. Uh oh, what? Are you okay, Elva? What did you do? I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Ah,、uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But it kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. All of it should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives, almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this, but we don't have that kind of time. What you said before about what? Whoa. <laughs> Your fire! By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come, look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers.、Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, look at her. Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you. Oh, an ancestor reborn. Oh, they know. Diviner, we should bring the ancestor back. <laughs> It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around.、Uh, my apologies, Doctor Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. So the Quen generally know about Elizabeth Solbeck. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past, and about Solbeck, I guess. But there. Please, I must know what you said before about working towards the same goal. How long will it take? I don't know. A few months. Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way.、Aww. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south, and it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner, what's the delay? Please, 
Go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. Thank you, Alvar. Oh, I really like Alvar. And I appreciate it. I might do as Alva says. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. But I might want to explore the area before I make the trek back to base. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier. Right. Odd sister! They know. She didn't say anything to me though. She looked at me, but she never said, Oh my god, Elizabeth Sobek. At all. The girl, you can tell she's smart. She has... She's very quick-witted. If I had a dream, which was not all a dream, the bright sun was extinguished and the stars did wander darkling in the eternal space. Rayless and pathless and the icy earth swung blind and blackening in the moonless air. Morn came and went and came and brought no day, and men forgot their passions in the dread. Of this their desolation, and all hearts were chilled into a selfish prayer for light. And they did live by watchfires and the thrones, the palaces of crowned kings, the huts, the habitations of all things which dwell, were burnt for beacons, the cities were consumed, and men were gathered round their blazing homes, to look once more into each other's face. Happy were those who dwelt within the eye of the volcanoes and their mountain torch. A fearful hope was all the world contained. Fearful hope was all that contained. <laughs> they were trying to bring the ancestor back home. I'm not a collectible, okay? You can't just. You should be listening to me. Yeah, not the other way around. Okay, relatively eventless. No big fights and whatnot. Which I'm happy about. Not every single one has to be, like, gigantic fights left and right. But the Quen people I'm very curious to know more about, especially how much do they actually know? They know about Elizabeth Sobek. They know so much. 